Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Whitney Belkowitz, President and CEO of Intelligent Concrete. And I'm David Harris, Principal Engineer for Intelligent Concrete. And today we are talking about hot weather concreting. It's June now. Yeah, it's getting warm. It's maybe, well, it's in some places. We still have snow as, occasionally in yeah, Colorado now. No but. It's warming up here. I mean, it's warm in other parts of the country, but it's, sure. it's getting to be a concern here. Sure, absolutely. You know. So how do you concrete in hot weather? Like what sort of adjustments need to be made? Well, you know, I'm just a guy that loves the smell of concrete mud in the morning. You know, <laughs> oh, David. <laughs> your sun's just starting to come right. up. You're out there in your hard hat and your steel toes. You got a couple trucks spinning, ready right. to pour, you know, it's nice and cool there in the morning. Right. Not too cold, but... Not, not too cold. Yeah. So a lot of people, a lot of the contractors try to pour in the morning just for that reason. Get, oh, sure. Get that cooler window. Sure. Well, and here, too, it's so funny. Like, this time of year, we get a lot of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Yeah. So, really, like, there's several weeks where you kind of have that as a possible concern. Yeah, so, I think true. that is... A couple advantages without a yeah, doubt. Yeah. yeah. But as, as related directly to the hot weather, we don't have the sun beating down. Why right. is that a concern? Well, you know, we all have that problem. We're out in the sun, you know, and we're like, man, you know. I'm getting got, a little red. I'm getting a little red. I'm getting a little dry. You know, I need to put on some yes. moisturizer. Peeling you know? a little I'm bit. I'm starting to peel yeah. a little bit. That's kind of how concrete feels. Totally. You put that, you beat that sun down on yep. it. It heats that and boils that water right out of the surface. Dry, scaly, right. you know, cracky, you get scaly spalling, surface. Get just layers get that, peeling up. Yeah, you get that thin layer that kind yeah. of cracks up and peels. Not That's good. gross. I never even thought about though, like really kind of the same thing happens to us. You know what I mean? So it, it yeah. makes sense that. You need, need some protection on, totally. that, on that surface. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, if you're at a resort, you had a pool or something and you're laying in a nice lounge chair, you're in Vegas say, they're going to have sprayers. Misters, sure. Misters. You know, we see the football games. Right. Uh, we see that a lot of places. That has two effects. One, it has the cooling effect. Right. And then for the concrete, it... Um, the humidity. It's the humidity. It's right. It stops the drying at the surface. Like right, that. which is huge. So, yeah, misters aren't contractors' favorite. They're kind of a pain. They to, seem a little cumbersome. Yeah, they're kind of a pain to set up, and you have to adjust the water droplet size. You don't get that... Just rain, right. That, that rain effect, you know. And they're kind of a pain to use, but a lot of people use them. Sure, A lot okay. of people use them, especially on... If you're in a water tank, you know, or something like that, sure. a little easier to control. Right. Yeah. What about topical admixtures, David? Topical admixtures. One of our favorites. One of our favorites. Topical ad. They are great, you know, because you put them on, they have, will have a little bit of liquid in them right. to start with, so it adds that. But it combines with that concrete surface, and it forms a nice... Protective what, layer. What I love to call the hard candy shell. Now, you know, Dr. Belkowitz doesn't necessarily like that phrase. I, I do know. I do know. <laughs> he doesn't like that phrase. And the reason I like that phrase is it's not necessarily a continuous hard surface. Sure. You know, it has some, some porosity. Right, too. right. But still, it forms that film, film like, um, forms that hardened surface. And we have evaporation retorts. Right. Uh, a lot of people use those. They are not finishing aids. Not finishing aids, not to be used as finishing no, aids. Not to be worked into the surface. That's not you just their spray them and leave them. That's right. Last thing you do is spray that nice right. cotton candy looking, that nice right. white looking foam and walk away. <laughs> but it is incredibly effective at creating a barrier to keep the moisture in the concrete where it needs to be. Right. And to protect that to allow for hydration at the surface and below rather than having the surface lose all of that water. That's right. Now, if you're in a small, small location, you know, not too big an area. When I was down in Texas on the spillway patch pour down there, they just set up a tent. Oh, sure. Just we kind just, of, yeah. We just had this lovely, you right? know, like you'd have at a wedding, this, okay. this lovely um, canopy tent. 
Um, right. It was great. <laughs> but, and yeah, I mean, provides shade for the workers. But really, I mean, that's got to be for small jobs or else that's just going to be oh, yeah. too much of a hassle, too you cumbersome. Know, that's right. And small jobs, I mean, sidewalks, a lot of times we see burlap that they sure. they wet down as they leave. Uh, sort of well, yeah, I mean, jobs. blankets in general, you can kind of throw down and help block in that moisture. It doesn't have to just be for cold weather. Yeah, 470, so. we're seeing that. They're using right. those humongous blankets right. or, you know, or tarps or right. whatever they are. They're using those there. Um, so, yeah, there's there's multiple ways to deal with it. Right. But, but um, nothing quite like Concrete mud in the morning. No, I agree. I agree. And then it's at least a few hours old, and you're getting that hardened surface by right. the time you're getting that that high, hot sun. Yeah, so you can get that done in the morning, get a finishing aid on it, right. um, you know, and you're going to be in pretty, right. pretty good shape. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Give that concrete a little time to grow up a bit before the sun comes exactly. out. Exactly. Cool. Exactly. All right, I think that's it. Yeah, my, that's I think that's comments. it. All right, thanks so much for joining. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and like, subscribe, ding that bell for notifications. Go concrete, beat asphalt. <laughs>